Hey you guys, it's Bethany. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on this, the Timo Ring Plus 2. You guys, literally, I was already planning on doing a review on this product when they reached out to me, so it really just felt like perfect timing, like it really worked out, and I'm actually glad I didn't buy it before they reached out to me, because they definitely sent it to me for this video, so that's awesome. I just want y'all to know that this entire hairstyle, the curls, the volume, everything was achieved with this hair straightening brush. Hair straightening brush, this. And like I told y'all before, I've tried hair straightening brushes in the past and they've been literal trash. I don't even know. I don't even know. They were bad. They weren't giving sleek, shiny. They weren't giving this at all. They were definitely giving blow-dried hair. So this really, really, really takes the cake on hair straightening brushes for me. Y'all, this is available in Target, on Amazon, and if you buy it from their website, then I do have a discount code for you guys that you can check out to get 20% off, and I'll share that with you guys at the end of the video, but guys, please, let's get into this video so you guys can see how I achieved this look. It's a good morning for me because the mailman has come to my home. I'm sorry, y'all. I know my voice is a little groggy. I literally just rolled out the bed. I rolled out the bed, and I was like, is it here? Is it here? The Timo Ring Plus Iconic Hair Straightening Comb. I want to see if the results that other people are getting is it real? Okay, so it comes with one of these like egg shaped, kind of like tangle, detangling brushes. Ooh, it's shiny. It comes with a couple of hair clips for sectioning, which is nice. It comes with a heat resistant glove to help protect your hand. And then. The actual straightening instrument is inside of here. And ooh, so it feels really high quality. This is so crazy. The way that this looks is so crazy. It is just so bizarre to me, like, that this is gonna straighten my hair. Now I'm just getting impatient. I just wanna try it out, but I want y'all to see my very first impressions of the very first time I see this. And that'll be the next thing that you see in this video. So the time has finally come for me to do my hair. I obviously have it all blow dried and I'm ready to dig into this Timo Ring. Plus this is it as I already showed it to you guys before in the preview when I was looking a hot mess. First of all, yes, I was looking a hot mess. Sorry about that. Let's start with 370 and just see where that gets us. This is the Timo heat protectant. It has, comes in a glass bottle and it has argan oil um, and it's supposed to protect and add shine. Let me see what this is like first. Oh, okay, it's kind of oily. So we're gonna, ooh, it smells really good though. It reminds me of like, I'm not afraid to put it on the ends and my hair be dry. They will suck this stuff right up. I don't want to weigh down like the roots of my hair or anything. And I'm going to section off the first piece. Oh my gosh, guys. This is such a highly anticipated moment for me. Oh my God, guys. I'm low-key nervous. All right, so I'm going to lift it from underneath and try to get it close to the roots and then just pull it down. I can hear it. It's making a noise. Is it doing it? Ooh, okay. I feel like it's straight, but it still has some volume in there. Let's see. Okay, that's straight, but it has like, I don't know. Let's do it one more time. I feel like I'm going to have to figure out like the perfect. I'm trying to see, did it get the roots as well? I usually do like. Just one pass. Let's see. My hair is definitely hot. Okay, let's see. Can y'all see how it looks? So it's definitely straight. I wish I had a mirror. Let me grab my mirror. I do have a mirror over here. Because I want to really be able to tell y'all what I think, but I can't even see. Okay, so first impressions, my hair feels really, really smooth and silky. What I do like is that it's really straight, but it's something that there's still volume in this piece of hair. Like, it didn't take this piece of hair and actually make it small. And I don't know if y'all remember my last straightening video. Um, it wasn't that many videos ago. <laughs> but I was talking about how, like, I wanted some more volume in my hair. So this kind of gives me the feeling that 
it gets my hair really straight and silky, but it's maybe not going to be like bone straight to where it's flattening my hair out. So let's keep going and see. Let's do the next section. I'm sure it would get bone straight if I turned it all the way up, but that's just not something that I want to do. I just don't feel like I need to put that level of heat on my hair. Yeah, it's really interesting because my hair feels so silky and smooth. But it still has a little bit of texture to it, which is what's giving it the volume that it has. But I feel like, I don't know. Oops, I turned it off, my bad. I'm gonna turn it up just to 390 and just see what the vibes are. The cool thing about it is that it's kind of doing like, it's like a combination of like the chase, it's easy because it's like, you don't have to do the chase method. Oh, okay, maybe we just need to take it up a notch because that's already, doing a little something extra like it feels so weird because I don't feel any tension on my hair so it feels like it's not doing anything but when I look at it it most definitely is Ooh. what I'm noticing is that on 370 it strains my hair and it feels so soft and and silky and amazing um, but it does leave a little bit of texture and gives a little bit more volume. I bumped it up to 390 and I feel like it's like basically completely straightened my hair. I feel like if I put it on 410, my hair will be like pin straight. And if that's what you're going for, girl, go ahead and venture out into that 410. But I'm not doing that over here. I'm going to stick with 390 because I feel like I still have a good amount of volume in my hair. It's not, um, but it's, I don't feel like it's going to automatically revert as soon as I walk outside. So that's what I'm watching out for. I want to make sure that it's getting straight enough that it's not just going to revert back immediately when I walk outdoors because it is July, okay? So I'm going to keep going. Um, it seems like from what I can feel, it's for the most part, it's getting my roots really well. So that's good because I wasn't sure if this was going to really be able to like get in the roots like talking about. But so far, it seems like it's doing a decent job of that. I'll see better on camera, I guess. But let me keep doing this side. It feels so soft. Oh my gosh. It feels so soft and so smooth. And the roots, look at the roots. They're just smooth, from what I can tell, shoot. So I told you guys that it heats up really fast, which it does. Look how close I can get to the scalp. I feel no I feel no heat, let me not hold it there though. I don't wanna <laughs> hold the heat there too long, but I just wanted to show you guys that like, I could get close to the scalp and literally feel nothing. That's amazing. Yeah, I used to go to this hairstylist and every single time when I was a kid, and every single time that she would um, flat iron my hair, she would grab a little bit of my scalp. It hurts so bad, y'all. Whew! So this is like the most coarse part of my hair up here, so I'm really watching closely to see how it straightens. It straightens it really well. Honestly, if I had any complaint, it would just be like the ends, like I said, are kind of hard to get. But my hair feels so smooth and silky. I love how it feels. And it has body, like, it feels really good. I wonder, maybe I should wait till the end, but I wonder if I can like, actually like, curl them for real, under. I mean, sorta kinda, sorta kinda, that kinda work. Yeah, so you can give yourself a nice little bump. It takes a little bit of technique though. But the cool thing is that like touching this cannot burn you. And I think that's why it doesn't hurt my scalp. So I can just hold my hand here and kind of like curl it around. It's kind of a vibe. Ooh. It makes my hair look super thick and luscious, no? Mmm, girl, period. Okay, so let me finish this side of my hair and then once I finish, we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison and see what it looks like with the undone side, you know? before and after vibes, so I'll be right back.
guys so I'm halfway done as you guys can see I definitely gave my hair a little va va voom I was able to achieve this look just with the time out like just with this you guys saw what I was doing and how I was able to get it to kind of like curl and bump and give it a lot more body so I'm obsessed now it's time to take down this other side and get the comparison okay guys so this is the before and after well no the before and after um, of me straightening my hair using the Timo but the way that my hair is the body that it has the shape is absolutely gorgeous like it doesn't make my hair super flat like it gets my hair straight all the way to the root as you guys can see it's straight however and you guys can see in here look you guys have see how straight and shiny that my hair is it looks great however I have like this volume at the root it's actually more volume than this side because of the way that I took the time and went like this like went in up and over and I really feel like that caused my roots to kind of be lifted and to not give me like that super like too flat look I absolutely love this it looks like money honey up shoot you can't tell me anything okay so for the front I really like all of this to be really really straight and I found found it really hard to like get this kind of in there um, enough to get it oh well maybe I just needed to do it this way I didn't try it this way I'm just kind of going straight back because that like kind of got there. I don't know if it's just the ends of my hair and um or what like they are straight but I feel like it could be I guess a little bit smoother so this is like I just think it's stunning I can't wait to do the other side and show you guys how it looks so let me go ahead and do it and I'll be right back y'all you guys can we talk about this hair this is like this is like the look I always wanted with my straight hair like it's so crazy but like I I like am in shock right now because I've I've okay let's just run it back as y'all can see I tried to show you guys some clips of me doing like these kind of like feathered like voluminous kind of um, curls in my hair because this is kind of the look that I have been trying to achieve even the last time I straightened my hair everything was done with this I'm like kind of shook because I feel like this hair is like just so feminine and womanly like I look I look good y'all can't even tell me I don't look good I, now if I wanted my hair to just be like straight down bone straight this wouldn't be my first choice I would probably still go first choice with a flat iron because the way that my ends are they're just really 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 difficult to get straight like they just pray for my ends we're still we're still praying for their salvation okay they don't like to get it together now let's talk about time the time I feel like I don't know if it's just because I was filming it but I don't feel like it was necessarily that much faster than using flat iron for me but I'm pretty quick with flat iron my hair I've been doing it you know for years and years and I just have a technique down um, I initially thought that it would be faster but for me I just feel like it's kind of the same um, and there was a learning curve for me I feel like I'll get faster with this the more I use it but there was a learning curve for me to kind of figure out okay I need to do this this way like I just kind of had to figure that out but this is giving she's a grown woman and a boss like yeah and I can't get over just how shiny my hair looks how healthy it looks I did give it a good trim it just it's giving it's really giving I really am obsessed so I'm gonna stop looking down at it but it's so hard for me it's I feel so vain chill out Beth I also have a 20% off discount code for you guys which is really awesome because this is already under $100 so it's a really good deal for a tool like this even though this video is sponsored I was already gonna do this review for you guys anyways and I'm always gonna share my honest thoughts
thoughts and opinions with you guys that's why i'm letting you guys know if this is the look that you want this is what you need to get and you have to kind of work with it to get the angles right um but again i've seen some girls use it to get their hair like pinned straight and i don't know if i have to turn it to 410 to like get that look on myself but that's not even the look that i want so for me like this is perfect i'm not even gonna go buy like um a big barrel curling iron to get this look i don't have to because i have this so this to me is like amazing so i absolutely love it i i am so glad that i tried it i didn't use the glove um the heat protectant added a nice shine to my hair but it actually doesn't make it greasy at all which was surprising because it has argan oil and it's a little bit oily but for my hair it's not weighing it down at all it still flows it still moves it still bounces so i feel like that's good. Does it work as heat protectant? I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really tested it to that extent yet. So again, guys, this has been my review on the Timo Ring Plus. Um, If you guys want to purchase this product, again, I have a 20% discount for you. It's here on the screen. So make sure you guys use it. And yeah, you guys, that's it for this video. I'm obsessed. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.